Scorpio. This will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Scorpio, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Scorpio, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an ax to grind here. And Scorpio, it could have been some type of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on with work or business or some type of an agreement or contract collaboration. You can tell me there's been some mind games and manipulation dealing with work or business. You could also tell me there's been some mind games and manipulation because someone had a third party. You can tell me that you're pissed and you have an ax to grind because there was a third party. You could also tell me that, yes, you guys had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe. It could have been some mind games and manipulation, but someone may want to work things out here. Scorpio, you have the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Scorpio, clarify the star. For Scorpio, clarify the star. For Scorpio, 
It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So listen, Scorpio, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. Now, Scorpio, you could be getting your wish with some type of good news coming in concerning practicality. Maybe you were in for a battle dealing with work or business or some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, but could be winning this battle, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could also tell me that someone is trying to heal things here. Come in and offer something. Maybe apologize here. Wanting to work things out after some type of tit-for-tat, tug-of-war, toe -to -toe, mind games, and manipulation. Scorpio, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you could be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Scorpio... You can tell me that you're walking away because someone from their past is in the picture. You can tell me that you're walking away because something from the past was brought back up here. But Scorpio, are you going towards maybe a former employer or employment from the past? Or are you going towards someone from your past because you're pissed? I just want to walk away and leave all of this as a thing of the past, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. So Scorpio, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the High Priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Clarify the high priestess. For Scorpio, clarify the high priestess. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the three of pentacles again. Like I said, Scorpio, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration or there's a third party. 
Now, Scorpio, it very well could have been a third party. They're coming and trying to heal things with you, and you're like, no, using your intuition, like, no, I don't want to work things out. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're using your intuition that you need to reject an offer, maybe with work or business or some type of an agreement or contract collaboration, because very well could be trying to apologize to keep you from leaving. But Scorpio, you could be leaving, going towards a new opportunity here, Scorpio. I want to know if you're ignoring this offer because the fact that they had a third party at one point and you just don't want it. Or you're ignoring this offer because now you yourself have someone else. Are you going towards someone from your past? Scorpio, you have the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you. Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the two of pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Scorpio, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Scorpio, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups again. So walking away or returning. Scorpio. You can tell me you're debating on whether or not to walk away because there was a heated discussion or argument, some type of back and forth tit for tat tug of war. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away because they were out being a player juggling. But because of this card here, the Five of Swords, this is a, you did it to me, so I'm going to do it to you. Did they have a third party at one point, Scorpio? And you're like, I'm going to show you something. So did you walk away to go have fun or something, Scorpio? Like I said, it could be over something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here or the fact that someone from their past is in the picture that can drive you to go to have fun with someone towards your past scorpio what the fuck i'm gonna take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner scorpio if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com and it says, I go back and forth in my mind whether or not I want this because I'm tired of hurting you. I go back and forth in my mind whether or not I want this because I'm tired of hurting you. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Scorpio. And it says, we need to let each other go. We need to let each other go. Scorpio, this will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.